Oh, 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 a Lamborghini, a Lamborghini Countach. Oh my goodness! I wonder how much they want for this. Hi everyone, welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Here we are back in the workshop. We're at level 13 now. We have 45,000 um, monies and we're doing quite well. I'll just show you some of the skills that we have upgraded. So we've got the, um, the discount at the store. We've got the faster walk-in. We've got the level one uh, examination. We've also got the tablets, uh, level one and two repair. Uh, level 2, 100% faster on screen reward, you knew that one. And we also have the um, OBD scanner uh, to examine a lot of electrical uh, computer connections, which is pretty good. Uh, we've still got the um, multimeter to unlock, which is, allows us to do electronic connections. There's the tire gauge, which I'm not terribly interested in. Uh, we've got the eagle eye, which is 100% faster parts examination, level 3. And um, level three repair. Sorry, we've got a level two faster part installation. Uh, we've got unlux pressure tester, which should be quite good. I think that might be the next one. Uh, Five percent more income from finished orders, which is also quite tasty. Anyway, I'm rabbiting on. Let's get another job in, and then I want to do some uh, other things and check out uh, maybe a barn or uh, the junkyard to see if we can get some uh, a nice old wreck going. So we've got a Ford Sierra. Uh, a Chevrolet Corvette, oh, that's quite nice. Uh, put in new timing parts, change your engine oil and filter, knocking noise in the engine bay. Okay, we've got a Dodge Charger here, poor brake performance. Um, Land Rover, Range Rover. Oh, that's quite a bit of job there. Uh, another Dodge Charger, let's take this one. A nice quick one, uh, hopefully, and then we can get into um, what we need with the barn finds, etc. Right. Um, so you will have noticed that I have put a couple of mods on. I've added a few new cars into the uh, the library, as it were, and I've also added the mod which uh, changes the names of the cars to real life counterparts. Right. Uh, we do not know the parts which we need to uh, uncover this. Right. So for such a simple job, I would normally, you know, go to the test track or potentially go on to the path scanner but it's only three parts by the looks of it so we're just gonna get it in the air and have a look manually if there was more issues with the suspension then we'd probably do those tests but it's probably going to be just as quick just to uh, do a quick manual observation um, let's just have a quick look what's level 42 percent is the level we're going for so that's out of tie rod is absolutely fine. Let's just have a look at all this. Check the hub as well. And the wheel cap, or not the wheel cap, and the hub bearing. Uh, upper suspension is okay. We can't do the shock. Sway bar, sway link, it's 44%, that's okay. Bottom suspension, it's not looking too bad. Okay. Well, that's not not in great condition, but it still all seems to be um, above the, the required level. 45, 48. Quick check in there. Yeah, it's all looking okay. Um, bottom suspension arm looks okay. Upper suspension arm looks okay. Okay, well, nothing obvious on the front. There may be these bushes may be perished, and that could be the uh, the issue. But they've got some leaf spring suspension on the rear, so we'll just um, get these checked out and see if these are the issue. Well, they seem to be all relatively groovy. Can we check? We can't check the shock absorber from here. Okay, that's fine. And to the other side. Oh, I, I thought this would be a nice and simple one, but it doesn't appear to be actually. That's um, faulty parts. P Braking performance. Where did I get suspension from? Goodness me. I really need to. I do, do you know why? Because I've just literally done a Dodge Charger with suspension and I've just gone into 
automatic pilot. You must have been screaming at the, st t uh, the screen. What are you doing? Oh my goodness me. I'm not concentrating. That's what I'm doing. Right, so that was 43%. Oh god, I've forgotten already, was it? 42%, so they're okay. I'll get the uh, the wheel back on there. Uh, check this side. It's not a great start, is it? it really isn't. This disc looks knacked, but we'll just get it. Oh yeah, 27%. Oh, and that pad's gone, right? Let's get these off straight away. This caliper doesn't look 44%. Oh, it's okay, actually. Oh, stupid camera. I hate when it does this. You can't do anything quickly in this game. You've just got to let it really go slow. Right, so we found the pads. We found uh, the vented disc. Uh, can we... Actually, do we have any of those in our inventory? Let's have a quick look. Uh, I've got a running stock of uh, a number of parts, some used, which I've taken off uh, other cars, but obviously 73% still, or 63% or 74%, they can still be used in um, some of the uh, lesser cars with a lesser value. Right, um, so we need uh, brake vented disc pads, let's use the tablet, save us having to wander over to the, the computer. Uh, we'll get some disc pad, uh, some brake pads, and we'll also get the uh, the vented disc brake, which is nice. Let's get this all re rebuilt as we found it. All right, nice. Oh wow, look at the glare come off that sh ooh, shiny silvery surface. They're just about okay. Take that on. Good. Right. So that's uh, one tire. Obviously, it's not good practice if you if you if you're into mechanics or you want to learn mechanics. I'm no mechanic, so I'm no one to learn. But I, I do know uh, it's always a good. Pro, uh, it's always good practice if you uh, remove one. And replace one uh, brake pad from one side to do it on the other. Same with uh, discs. Why can't I remove that? Oh, because the shoe's got to come off first, apparently. They're all okay. How is this looking? That is looking 48%. Real hub is, yeah, that's fine. We'll get that put back together then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Let's take that off. Let's put the used one back on because it's still perfectly acceptable. As I say, that's the problem when you're carrying a few spare parts around. Um, you can accidentally put uh, a really good one back on there. We no reason to. Right. So, yep, I want to go and check out the barns uh, and see if we can get anything uh, good from there. That would be uh, quite exciting if we can get ourselves a nice little project car at the same time. Get these out there, drum shoes, what is this? 10%. That was the third issue. Fortunately, as you know, we have that spare, so we used it anyway, but that's not a problem. We saved it back. We weren't to know at the time, but uh, it's all okay. Right, this dodge should be a good. Let's have a quick look. All sorted. Uh, money spent, one hundred and fifty-one dollars, uh, and we're going to receive two two five. Nice, right? So let's head over to a barn and see if we can't find ourselves a nice little thing. So you can see all the barns over here. Where should we go? He's all random, I think. So let's go to the one up the north. Okay, here we are in the barn. What do we have? We have what looks to be a oh hello. Oh. <laughs> a Lamborghini, a Lamborghini Countach. Oh my goodness! I wonder how much they want for this. Uh, how much do you want for this car? Sixty. Oh, we don't have enough. Damn. Damn. That would be so nice to buy ourselves a little Lamborghini. Ah, well, we can't afford that. How much is? Uh, 
this baby, this um, Dodge Charger. This is 15,000. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to buy ourselves the Dodge for 15 grand. Uh, we'll move it to the garage. Uh, let's just have a little nose around, see if there's anything useful here. Uh, a Rim Classic, 79. Lamborghini Countach, Volkswagen. Uh, I'm going to maybe pick that up. That looks quite good. What have we got there? Some cement, got some wood, got some boxes. Let's have a look in this pile here. Engine head for a V8. Oh, it's 14%. It's not really worth it. Serpentine belt. Audi A3, no. BMW, Lamborghini Countach with door, no. Let's have a look here. Dodge Charger, Daytona window. 47. We'll take that. Mazda, uh, leather seat. Oh, we'll take the starter as well because that's going to be cheap. Anything in that cooker? No. We looked in there. Anything here? No, oh, I'm so gutted we can't take this home. Ford Sierra, Rim Modern, Mercedes. No, we're not going to bother with any of that. Anything in there? No. Oh. I'm gutted. We're not going to be able to take it. But anyway. So let's return to the garage. Uh, these are the parts they want to charge us 107 bucks for those. Um, I'll take them. Okay, here she is then. Look at her, looking amazing. If we just have a quick look. Um, she doesn't look in terribly bad condition. The front door, yeah, everything looks okay. I wonder if we can, uh, if she starts. Let's take her for a spin, shall we? Now there's an air filter cover missing from the car. Okay, that's okay. Uh, let's just try and get her um, running. And um, we should be... Uh, oh, God, the engine looks a bit ropey, should I say. Uh, what do we need? We need a V8 OHV. Okay. Good. Right, let's... Just quickly get that from the air filters, and what we what you do basically is um, get the. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate at the same time. Uh, you get the no, that one. <laughs> I don't know why I clicked on that. You can buy these things, and basically we need to do these up and, and make a profit, and that's that's the idea. And um, we can customize them as much as we like, and then sell them. There we go. At least it's got a shiny bit on it. All right. Hopefully that's all we need, and we can take her out onto the test track. There's a starter missing from it. Oh my goodness me! For that, we do need to move her onto the onto the lift. Right. So I think the starter is uh... unless, of course, we get it to it from. Oh, she's going up anyway. So we might as well lift it all the way. So yeah, we're going to be doing quite a few barn finds because I quite like the idea of it. It's uh... Oh, she's also got a uh, manifold missing by the looks of it. Do we have a spare starter? No, we don't. So it's a V8 starter and it's a manifold V8. Do we have a spare one of those? Accessible from the engine bay. Uh, we've got a front exhaust section missing as well and we need one of those. Uh, parts notes. Add that. Okay, so, oh, hang on, before we do that, uh, what do we need again? I did take note, but um, we've got a starter, but we need a V8 starter. Uh, what do we need? We need a V8 section D. That's fine. Okay, so... Let's get uh, uh, um, not sure now. That one, isn't it? Need one of those. Okay, uh, we needed a uh, starter. Turn my cap locks on. We we'll get the V8 version. Yes. What else do we need? Can you remember? My mem my short-term memory is so bad at the moment. It's lack of sleep, you know. But um, right, let's see if we can get that on there. Yeah, lovely. And uh, we we'll get the starter on there. Oh, we 
we've got what we've got missing there. We've got a manifold V8 uh, OHVD. Okay. Manifold. Where's V8? OHD. That one, isn't it? Looks like the kitty. 190 bucks. Right. And let's pop this down. Oh yes, she is a bit not looking the best. Right, let's pop that on there. Actually, can we check the oil just before we start her up? Oh yes, we better put some oil in there. Then, um, there's the oil cap. Good job we checked that before we try to rag around the uh, re the test track. That could have been quite a costly mistake. Wait for it to bubble. The old congealed virgin's blood. Lovely. Right. I think. Everything else. Let's uh, see if she will start. Maybe if we go to cannot start the engine okay fine let's keep working on this then and uh, no we'll keep it there actually go away go away there we go let's have a look what we've got in here right so let's have a look at these uh, HT leads oh they're knacked they are 27% okay we'll take those off uh, so we'll have a look at the is this distribution cap? No, I just wondered if it had a. Um... Okay, what's all that? Ooh, that's not too bad, actually. We can probably get that rebuilt. 45%, that's okay. I know it doesn't sound great, 50%, but it should be still perfectly functional. 56%, great. And these are the V8D HT leads. Let's get some of those. What do they call them? Hang on. I don't know what they, they they're cables probably are they? Or wires. Wires, there we go. Uh so they are the the HD sixty six bucks, that's okay. Let's get these fitted. Nice. Um actually, let's check the spark plugs. If she's not starting, that could be a uh, a major influence. Fifty-seven percent, twenty-four percent, twenty percent, thirteen percent. Okay, great. I think I've got some spare plugs, so uh, we can put the fifty back in because that's fine. We've got a spare one there. Got another spare one there. I'm gonna to have to buy some. That's what I tend to do if we've got, you know, things like spark plugs or rubber washers. Uh, tend to buy, a, a, you know, a chunk of them, just so uh, we've got a few spares on board, just in case we need them. We'll always, we'll always need them for something. So, right, that's okay. That side. Let's check this side. Forty-four percent. 54%, 45%, and 25%. Okay, let's get those added. Anything? Well, I'd like to get over 50 to be honest with you. So that's what we're going to try and set the standard. And there is that 54, so she can go in. That's okay. All right, let's get the leads added. There we go. Um, let's check this. We've got a new starter on that. We know that, which is good. Um, let's just have a look at the fuel filter. How's that looking? 34%. Mm, it should be okay. It should be okay. Uh, I'm wondering. Let's have a look for all the timing as well. Oh, hang on. Before we do that, always check the simple things first. Always check. The, always, that's a, should be your, a rule. Let's. Um, can we check the battery? No, we'll have to take it out. 
battery is 14 percent hmm okay what type of battery is it it's just a battery okay there's only what seems to be one type of battery um Oh God, battery, there we go, 170 bucks. We get it for 161, thanks to our discount. Nice. Right, do we reckon this will start now? Let's see if we can move her. Yes, we can. Okay, the engine is good to start. Now that we've got the spark plugs done, the HT leads, uh, let's just get that hood down. And we'll do a quick test. We'll check the brakes and suspension. Um, okay, th there's one thing that jumps out at me. We do not have a steering wheel. Uh, we <laughs> okay, we'll need one of those. Okay. Now, we don't have to get this car up to, you know, 100%. No, no, no. We this is one we're just going to do up a little bit and sell on. You can see we've got some rear brake issues there. So uh, we'll have to address that. If we can get this up to around an average of 50%, then we'll look to sell it and we should make some money. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's get that uh, move car. We'll move it to the garage entrance for the moment. We're obviously not going to go for a test drive when we don't have the necessary parts. But what we can do is head over to the junkyard and let's see if we can scavenge some bits and pieces we need for our Dodge. Right, so there's a big pile of junk here. Let's have a rummage through it. Uh, Dodge Charger hood. We don't need one of those. It's not in great condition anyway. Dodge Charger left window. Also, an Atlas. Um, I may take that for the moment, just in case we, as a spare. It's not going to cost us much. Um, okay, nothing else that we want there. Right, this big old pile of junk. It looks like brake discs and all sorts here. Right, Dodge Charger mirror. Oh, we'll take it just in case. It's not great condition, but we'll try and repair it. We, we can, of course, break things when we try and repair them, which is always a, a thing. It's something we need to be wary of, but sometimes it's uh, it's best just to... I wonder if we can find a, a charge around here and then maybe... That uh, would be good. Um... Race tire, look at that. Yes, there is, of course, a racetrack in it. Dodge... Dodge Charger Daytona left headlight. We'll put that in our maybe list. Uh, and we'll have a l another wander around here. Trees whipping around. Oh, what do we have here? What's this? This is a, um, a Chevrolet Corvette C3. Oh, 11 grand. Oh, it's tempting, isn't it? Oh, tempting. What about the truck? Another Corvette there. Um, so as you can see, there are loads of uh, areas where you can uh, potentially... It's like an old BMW here. Uh, get some bits and pieces. There's another hood. Don't need that. Oh, we've got to skip here. Exhausts. Always good to see. Um, oh, it's the other style uh, mirrors, which is interesting. Right. Uh, what is? Looks like an old BMW. Let's have a look. It's this class is junk, unfortunately. Uh, Mercedes, Ferrari, Chevrolet, Ford, steering wheel for a Charger. Yes! That's what we want. Okay, so that's basically what I wanted. Um, anything else? 
Daytona front window. I think we got one of those. That's okay. Right, I think I've got what I wanted. These are all pretty bad condition anyway. Obviously, you can repair, but we can break them while trying to repair. But um, sometimes it's worth the risk just to get the car on the... Oh, hello. Oh, no, I don't want to... No, it's a car for sale. How much is this one just about? I'm out of interest. That's nine grand, but it looks in a worse condition, doesn't it? Okay, well, I think we've got what we came for. And I'll have one last looking here. Anything interesting? Um, I'm not sure that, that hasn't quite loaded. <laughs> That's the mods, though. Um, That's the left side mirror. We've already got a left side mirror. Right, okay, I think we've... Oh, hello. Fifteen grand for a Shelby Cobra. Yeah, I'm going to buy that. Um, Fifteen grand, yes. I'll stick that in parking. That can be done up to our little race car, I think. Oh, yes and how. Oh, yes and how. Um, good. Let's return to our garage then. Uh, do we want to buy this junk for 41 bucks? Yes, we do. Okay, welcome back. Right. Let's get the uh, interior disassemble. Johnny Five, no disassemble. Um, right, let's start the car, drive the car. Normal mode, let's get to normal mode. How do I... Oh no, hang on, hang on. I just want to, I just... There we go, assemble. Right, let's put that steering wheel in. There we go, that is the basics we need. Now let's take around the test track and see how she handles. There's a, oh god, there's a clip missing. For, god, I don't care. I think that's the least of our problems. Now that clip will probably be um, from the distributor cap, I'm gonna guess. Yes, it is. I don't have one. How many do I need? I need two clips, and they're clip these. They're clip these, okay. So obviously didn't have any, so the distribute distributor cap could have just popped off. Uh, so let's get a couple of those. And there'll be two of the shiniest. Um, you can see there's been a patch out literally today and uh, all the achievements are popping up as we do s simple things, which is nice. All right. Hopefully we can now take it for a spin. If they're happy with that. Okay, here she is, look, driven by no one, but we do have a, a that, that window missing, and I did buy one of those, so let's floor it. Oh, straight up to 40, look at this. Brake heavy for the corner, she handles ooh, terribly. The rear is really stepping out. Over the bumps. Oh, hit the cones. We had a bit of a violent hit against those cones. Okay, and here are the results. We can see the sway bars, the gearbox needs work, uh, the gearbox, the inner tie rods, leaf spring play, inner tie rod, leaf spring, okay. Um, the drum wheel cylinder, the shoes, anything above 50%, I am not too worried about. That's okay. Right, let's um, get you over to over to here. We've only got 13 grand left, so we can't go crazy. And does it actually tell me how much I've spent if I have a look here? Yeah, so car value is 20 grand at the moment. Um, so it's worth more than we paid for it. We should really keep an eye on how much we spend on it just to uh, to really be able to uh, make that call. Right, if it's been uh, good value. But yeah, look at this. This is all red. Uh, so we're going to get this suspension changed out. That gearbox looks knacked as well. Uh, so let's do this. Let's 
so oh god yeah that's not very good let's try and get some of this repaired right and uh, oh that hubcap looks knacked how's the the wheel bearing 54 that's okay the plate is 46 the knuckle is Red. Okay, that needs to come off. I thought as much. Oh, let's take that out first. There we go. Then we get the this bit off. Then we can take the uh, the knuckle cover. Then we can get to the knuckle itself. Uh, let's take the tie rods off. Steering rack probably needs to be replaced as well. Uh, this all needs to be replaced. To be fair. Um, oh, it wants to get the arms off first, does it? Get that out, get this out. Okay, and now the knuckle is free. Quick check on what the sway bar is. The sway bar is 32%, now better come out as well, so we need to do the other side. This rubber bush looks knackered, so we'll get that replaced straight away. Uh, I've got some of these spare, so uh, as you can see, I've got plenty of spare. Let's just scroll through these. What have we got? 57, 55. There we go. That'll do. We go. As I say, we're going for a 50 percent fix on this one, um, and that should bring in enough money. We got another one over here. Look, we'll get this replaced straight away. And again, uh, we use that one. So it matches the other one. It's still in reasonably good nick for what we want. Uh, this one probably will need to be come off, will it? Oh, that's not too bad. How's the hub? The hub's okay. Wheel cap? Okay. Oh, probably needs to be replaced, to be fair. Let's get this wheel off then. Uh, oh, sorry. Caliper first. So you've got to wait for the camera to stop its jiggle, otherwise you end up clicking on something else and infuriating yourself. Uh, that probably needs to come out as well. What was the knuckle? 50%. The knuckle cover. You can have a quick look at that. What's that? The 50%. That's okay. Knuckle cover is fine. All right, let's get the outer tie off. Get the inner tie, and then the steering rack can come off. And what was that? Ninety percent. Yeah, that needed to come. Okay, get this shock absorber off, and this bottom one, thirty-one percent. That needs to come as well. Right, we'll take the sway bar out as well. Now that's free. Good. Uh, that's just magically hovering there for the moment, which is fine. Um, what we now need to do is get some bits and bobs ordered. Uh, upper suspension arm, probably times two, is it? Upper suspension, yeah, times two. Oh, the best thing, let's see if we can repair anything. Um, so this brake caliper is 15%, let's have a go. Oh, we repaired it up to 63%, that's great. The bottom suspension arm is 28%. Oh, we broke it while we're trying to repair it. Uh, the brake caliper, these are going to be binned anyway, so we might as well try and repair them because it only costs a couple of bucks. We managed to repair that, which is good. The bottom suspension arm, no. It seems like the expensive bits we tend to wreck. Oh, we repaired that one. It's pretty good. This suspension, oh, and that one. On a bit of a roll, 46%. Ah, uh, we lost it. We could have probably put that one back on, no problems, but never mind. Right, so we've done a little bit. So we've got an upper suspension arm, which is not too bad. The bottom one is knackered. Two bottom ones are knackered, and the upper one is knackered as well. So let's get those first off. Let's go into suspension. Oh, it's been a bit laggy. Um, suspension arm bottom, let's get two of those. And we need an upper arm as well. Oh, we need a steering rack while we're here. Remember that much. Um, in the tie rod, I can't remember, but they're only cheap, so we'll get a couple of those. Get some outer tie rods as well. 
uh, uh, um, sway bar we needed 100 bucks that's okay I can't remember which one of those we need we need a steering rack and we need an upper arm right there probably be bits that I also need to buy um, but for now we've got enough to start rebuilding some of it uh, so let's select we'll put this one on uh, so that's fine there then we'll find one of our more you 51 percent yeah we'll use that one and then we'll put a good one in there as well that's okay we'll put the new sway bar in oh it's a sway bar b okay i bought the wrong one that's a rear sway bar b is that what i bought oopsie daisy i wanted the front one i just bought another rear one for ah oh. I need to slow down and read what I am doing. Right, hang on, let me just double check that then. Not that I uh, say, not that I really worry because we'll easily front sway bar B. We'll use those those, those other parts anyway, so it's not a big deal. Yes, we've wasted a few hundred bucks, but in the long term, it really doesn't make a difference. We'll, they'll get used. They will get used. Right, good. Uh, can we put the bottom suspension arm on? Yes. Uh, we'll have to use 90 or 86 percent and 87 percent. There we go. They're still perfectly good. Get those in there. Nice. Um, right, okay, they're front bees. Front B sway bars. That's what we want. Should we do? Front end bees. Let's get a couple of those. Nice. Let's get this rebuilt. Yeah, so now we've got to this stage where we can get some of these old uh, plastics and start doing them up. This is when it's going to get quite exciting, I think. Um, oh, that double wishbone shock absorber needs to be replaced, to be fair. And we, so we need two of those and a front cap as well. Okay. Um... Let's put the steering rack in though. That's looking good. And we can put the uh, tie rods in. And the outer tie rods. Oh, look, we've got some used ones which are perfectly acceptable for what we want. So 59, that's fine. Get that added. Good. Right, so uh, we wanted. Let's break those two. Uh, a double wishbone shock absorber. While that's doing that, let's get two double wishbone shock absorbers. Double wishbone shock absorbers. Let's get two of those. And it wasn't a front cap, I think, as well. Right, that one is off. Let's get the other one broken down. And we'll rebuild these two shocks. Get those added, and we should be laughing. Right, that's looking spa spiffing. We can use that. That's absolutely fine. And yeah, we'll use that one. So there we go. That's a nice new ish shock in a second. There we go. And let's try and build another one. Uh, yep. And we'll use that. Oh, 47. Should we, can we repair those, I wonder? No. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna buy another one for the 47. It's okay, really, but uh, let's just for 60 bucks. Let's just get another one, shall we? Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be fine. We're gonna use that one. We're gonna use that one. Yeah. So they're two decent standards now. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Right. Let's get that added. Looking good, right. Uh, ooh, we can get a vented disc on there as well. Yeah, nice new disc on there. We've got any decent pads? Now we'll get some pads as well. Let's get a couple of pads because we might need some on the other side. 
and we repaired the caliper if you remember so the caliper should be okay so new discs new pads and a reconditioned caliper and they're both looking pretty good so nice okay so that's one side looking okay it's getting there it's not looking brilliant but it's you know it's getting there it's getting there all right we'll put a new one of those so actually let's take that off can we take it off we had a 60 odd percent one which would be perfectly acceptable for this what we're going for there we go that's what we'll do uh, then we'll get a knuckles oh, okay we need a front knuckle c Front steering knuckle C. Nice. Get this added. Lovely. Uh, we'll get the cover. The cover's okay as well. The oh, we need a wheel hub. Front wheel hub. There we go. Hundred and bucks. Coming down. Yeah, I want to sell this because obviously we we don't have much money to do uh, to get parts for other jobs which we'll have to take up along the way to uh, finance our other business 63 that would be absolutely fine let's get the uh, bottom suspension arm in um, we'll use that one and we'll use that one coming to the end of our bushes now so I have to buy some more in that's looking good just get the upper suspension arm in uh, that should be okay, and oh, we need uh, one more rubber bushing. I don't want to put a 47 in there. I know that sounds silly, but um, rubber bushing. Let's buy another 10 of, 11 of those. Buy some small ones as well, because you never know when you need those. They will not go to waste. Trust me. Trust me, they will not go to waste. All right, there we go, and. We'll still put that 80 odd one in there. Where is it? There it is. 89%. There we go. So this is going to be handling a lot better any second when we take it out again. Uh, that is looking okay. That's hitting our margins we're going for. Nice. Okay, suspension is looking good. Needs another vented disc, unsurprisingly. I should have predicted that, but you know. My memory isn't that good when I took these pieces off. I don't remember that much. Oh, we need a new brake caliper cylinder. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, it's one of those. Nice. Uh, let's get the hub in. Or the bearing, sorry. Pick your pardon. Let's get the hub cap in. Uh, I'm going to put it in there. It's a hub cap for heaven's sake. Just keeps the dust out. Oh, the wheel and tyres are not looking particularly great. But that should be a lot better now. Let's have a look at the rear. Uh, leaf spring. Oh my goodness, we got a whole leaf spring needs replacing there. Okay, let's get to this. But you know, if you run out of money, you don't, or you, you're running low on money, you don't have to worry too much because you can always um, zoom out a little bit. You can always uh, park this up for a time being and get on to another job and then come back to it when you've got a bit more money to save up which is pretty good right how's the rest of this looking uh, okay that's okay 50 ish oh that is knackered as well typical isn't it that's knackered fuel tank well I'm sure that's fine swoop over here Oh, 
needs to be repaired as well. Okay, I think we might put this away for a day and then come back to it because uh, she needs a little bit more work than we had initially planned. But if we get the suspension done today, we'll do some more jobs and then we can come back another day and maybe work on the gearbox after a couple of jobs earning some money. You know, the one thing we have to make fully, uh, so fully aware is that our, this is an investment and it's currently uh, not making us any money because obviously uh, we haven't sold it but we when it comes to selling we should make um, some good money on it oh the exhaust needs to be replaced as well okay just checking the exhaust out as well yeah okay not surprised it's been sitting in the shed for X amount of years. I'm not surprised it's uh, needing a bit of tender loving care. is okay so uh, we need some leaf springs we need some um, leaf spring u bolts so we need two leaf springs oh goodness me brake shoes are okay we need oh can we repair any of this 15% uh, we might as well have a chance. Oh 75 what a fix that was. 18% yes 20% no we lost that one. Uh, rear axle 25% yeah come on yeah oh nice the the cheapest parts that we're, we're using are the ones that are failing which is not to worry. Right let's get this one. Oh we lost that one. That one fixed. We lost that one. Oh we probably could have kept that anyway so we made some uh, some ground there which is quite good suspension let's get um, we'll get we'll buy some stocking as well because uh, they're always useful we'll get a couple of these all these old cars have the old leaf spring side like that we do need a leaf spring as well because the other one didn't repair properly and we do need a knuckle housing but I can't remember which one it was so we'll We'll try and rebuild from here and see what we need. Oh, did I already have one? Anyway, we'll use that one for this one. And we'll add that plate. That's the repaired reconditioned one. And we've got a couple of reconditioned ones here. Nice. Uh, it's a knuckle housing B. Oh no, we repaired that one. I beg your pardon. We're okay. Uh, the wheel hub, that's what we needed. A wheel hub for. Uh, wheel hub for. 19 bucks. Not, not too much to worry about. Yes, that's also reconditioned. Lovely. It's always nice when you get to be able to recondition these bits and bobs. 50% that's still okay. The brake shoes, 52% they're okay. Oh, the brake drum. We we'll probably need a new brake drum. That shouldn't be too expensive. He says. Where's a brake drum? Going to brakes. Brake drum, 30 bucks. That's fine. Yeah, happy to spend that. Get this on. And we are almost good on this side, I think. Wheel on. Oh, the Atlanta rim is looking a bit crap, isn't it? But as I say, if we really want to spice it up, we can get some rims later. But um, I'm not too worried. Let's. Uh, we got. We need some rubber bushes in here. Uh, do we have any? Yep, we got these ones. See, so these these are 55. These are absolutely fine. 
as I say, we are fixing this to a a goal, which is 50%. And you're probably saying, well, why don't you fix it all the way? But well, we can use these parts up, that's why. We can save ourselves money, get it in a good condition, good enough condition to get some reasonable money. And yet, uh, put the brand new one on there. Let's put the... Uh, Yeah, when it come coming later, we will we will use um, we'll repair them up to you know 100% rest, restoration type standards, you know. But for now, we're we're doing these up to sell for money. That's all it is. Right. How's that looking? Uh, we do need to put the leaf spring back on. Oh, that hub needs to come off by the looks of it. Okay, let's get this wheel off. Brake drum is knackered as well. Brake shoes. Yeah, they need to come. That's okay. The axle is a bit knacked. The hub is a bit knacked, right. Let's just see what we need. A brake drum, brake shoes. Um, let's try and repair some of those. So we're only going to bin them anyway, so no, we lost that one. Lost that one. That's okay. Right, so uh, rear solid drive axle, a hub four, and brakes. Okay. Um, ba, 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 ba. Where's the rear? Rear, 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 rear. Drive axle. Was it that one? No, it wasn't. It was that one. And the other bit was. Oh, brain. Brain. Ah, there's that, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, good. Right, let's so hopefully we've got the bits we can rebuild this. Right, 100%, lovely. Get that in. I've got a brand new one of those as well. Lovely. Uh, I'm going to continue to work up my repair and hopefully we can uh, continue to have more success when repairing these bits because obviously that will save us a fortune going forward, especially doing up these cars. Lovely. Right, we've got a leaf spring to put on. Or the actual plate. Got two new ones of those. Uh, these were all good condition. So we'll get this added. And I think that is the suspension in a reasonably good nick. That tire needs to be replaced, probably. Uh, we'll maybe come to that decision later. So the suspension is in good enough condition. Let me just hop back here for a second and check on this this rubber bushing. I'm not sure that's a 38%. We'll get that replaced. There we go. There we go. Okay. So that is the suspension replaced. She's worth 25,000 at the moment, which is good. Let's take her out for a uh, test drive. A wheel is missing from the car. We don't need no stinking wheel. Oh yeah, I better put it back on. Uh, we just want to see if it, if I can noticeably um, tell the difference to see if it's better. Oh hang on, yeah. We, whoa, hang on. Have I not? Oh, no, that's all on there. That's fine. The bearing needs to go. Oh, it needs a wheel bearing. Okay, hang on. Stand down. I haven't finished. I haven't finished. Wheel bearing hub. Uh, we need one of those. Okay. That's why it's off for, was it? I kind of distracted myself, went to the back. Right, let's get that one in. Wheel hub cap. We'll oh, stuck that in for now. We get. We can replace them later, should we decide. Oh, God. We need some new rims. Right. Has that altered the value at all? 25,000. Right, okay. 
Let's take it for a spin and see if she's any better. Okay, here we go. Okay, struck 50, down to second, up to 50 again. Why right, let's slow down. It's the RPM, of course, that's why that. Oh, God! Okay, handling. It's not the best. Okay, so, oh, God, she's very twitchy. Over the suspension tester. Okay, she handled that a little bit better. Brakes aren't too good. Okay, there we go. Then we can get some more indications of what we need. So we can see a lot of the suspension is in fantastic order and going up to the brake stuff is just above where we uh, wanted to set our limit, which was 50%. Uh, we need to work on the clutch and the gearbox going forward, but we knew that anyway. Cool. Right, so for... Where's my car? Ah, she's up there. <laughs> I wonder where she was. Right, so for the time being, what we can do, uh, we can either go, let's go and put her in the, the car park, uh, and we can go and check on the car park, and we'll probably leave it there, guys. So we'll just, as we head over to the parking, uh, level zero access, we've got a couple of cars parked there. Okay, welcome to the car park, and here we are. We've got our little Dodge Charger, which we're currently working on. I will get the wheels and tires replaced, I think. Uh, we might do some bodywork thing, but I'm not going to spend too much on her. She is literally... A, you know, do up and sell for cash. This is our bait. Look at this. This Shelby is going to be absolutely glorious once we get some money and we can get her repaired. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so you can see her for the time being. So I'm going to do some more bonus videos of Car Mechanic Simulator 18 because I'm loving it. Uh, we'll do some more uh, jobs, paying jobs, and then we may spend a bit more time looking at the gearbox and clutch on our charger. So until that time, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. If you're enjoying this series, then please like it and share with your friends. And hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest videos from the channel. Right, thoughts and comments of what you'd like to see as well. By all means, please add in the comments down below. I'll... I can hear some of you walking around. Um, I enjoy reading them and I'm happy to uh, take your see if there's any suggestions that you want to uh, see. We can certainly do that, but yeah, we are going to be doing this up for um, for selling because her paintwork isn't too bad. Yeah, it's a bit scruffy this side, but overall, that's certainly sellable. Certainly sellable. Um, and I'm quite looking forward to making some money off that as well. Right, we'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you next time.